Okay, so this is October 18th, Sunday. Uh, this is, of course, at night. <clears throat> Just want to kind of show some of my greenhouse. Still making very slow progress. But, uh, this wall, this section here on this side of these doors, I've got these eight foot tall doors. And, uh, I used <clears throat> wood fence pickets and laid them sideways and uh, put them on there. And down below the window, I've got barn tin. And I'm started on this side. <clears throat> Still pretty rough looking. Below this board, here's where the barn tin will be. I do have this. Uh, house wrap they use on houses under siding uh, underneath all this but uh i believe i'm gonna <clears throat> do some more framing but i believe i'm gonna carry the wood all the way up on this end probably have a for right now maybe put a window in up there when i do get a big fan uh some louvers or something i'll put them there so uh like we'd said before, this greenhouse is 18 foot wide, 40 foot long, and uh, <clears throat> I'll take you inside in a moment. I did want to show this big old, probably six foot plus papaya tree that's volunteer <laughs> planted in my garden this year. <clears throat> and I do have the plastic pretty much up down this side of the greenhouse. We'll go in. We've actually started moving some plants and stuff in here. But, uh, just to be ready. <clears throat> Eight and a half foot sidewalls, close to 12 foot at the peak. And inside this wall... I probably won't finish it out this season, but I'm probably going to come inside here, similar to the wood on the outside wall, <clears throat> and cover up this framing. This uh, front wall there does face the north, and it faces the street that we live on, so that's why I'm kind of making it like that. The rest of the walls will be plastic. The roof is the uh, greenhouse plastic with the uh, it's six mils. Uh, and 55% uh, shade is what it's supposed to be, white shade. It looks, the sun can't even hardly shine through it. I'm wondering if they might have sent me a little thicker, but whatever, it's still good. I'll have more of a clear on the sides. <clears throat> this back wall is not really even worked on yet, but there will be a, almost all the way across, a uh, wall that will hang on a hinge from that truss and uh, probably about four to five feet down. <clears throat> I'll be able to open it up in the summer and uh, for ventilation in here. These sidewalls are also made to where I can uh, pop them that plastic off pretty easily in the summer. And uh, it'll just be open like this in the summertime. Uh, we'll eventually have a heater and, there, you know, fans and stuff in here. But, uh, we have a lot of uh, tropicals that we're wanting to grow in here. Have our bananas. We have a couple different kinds of bananas right now and hoping to expand. We've got a lot of <clears throat> baby avocados started. Several pots of them. There's some more. That uh, this spring I'll be putting some of them in individual pots and getting ready for uh, grafting. These are just store bought avocados. And uh, we, we grew the seeds and we'll be uh, grafting known varieties onto them. Here's my smathers. My grafted smathers, why it's supposed to, it had almost died and it's come back. It's one of my pride and joys. Several plumerias and uh, over there we've got some angel trumpets. Several things hanging, but uh, we'll get it all more organized. But uh, I've just got so much stuff. I've been got a pot full of baby cherimoyas here. We can do grafting on lately. Uh, 
my writing is running away. Uh, sapote, Sue Bell Sapote seedling. I got several uh, lychee plants. Here's some more I need to pot up that are still in cups. I've got several uh, yellow dragon fruit seedlings. These haven't come up yet, but there's a, a store bought tropical white guava. There's some sugar apples. We have seeds and they haven't come up yet. I've actually got sour sop seeds planted in this pot. These are my, uh, do some weeding while I'm here. These are my finger sops. And I'll fix me put up potting them into a little bigger. <laughs> my writing's always running using these paint pens. Uh, but just a variety of things. We've got some moringa here, some uh, ginger and turmeric, some different basils here that I dug up out of the garden and brought in. Just going to overwinter them in here. I've also saved some of these wonderful seeds. Love this Thai basil. It has a a licorice flavor. Let me pop that in my mouth and mount the garden. Got a lot of different, uh, I think I've got nine different types of hot peppers, including these uh, uh, red and yellow scorpions. Uh, the Eugenia, I'm not sure which variety was sent to me. Mame Sapote. Uh, lots of little. Uh, papaya trees some of them will be planted directly in the ground here along with some of the other tropical plants that's the purpose of this big of a greenhouse if we want to have some in ground planted stuff quite a few uh black sapote uh seedlings going on in here <clears throat> and uh let's see meyer lemon cuttings getting rooted there got some uh Trifoliate orange, ready to graft on some good varieties too. <clears throat> this is my, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Yeah, Wabash, Wabash seedling, uh, pawpaw seedling here. And I have a, uh, let's see. Oh, my brain is skipping me on what this is here it's a breed of giant well maybe i'll think of it and tell you what it actually is these were my uh and they're close to seven foot getting close to eight foot tall uh maywa kumquats they were planted in the ground several years ago and froze all the way back and then when they came back uh i'm afraid they come back from rootstock but it's not trifoliate if anyone knows uh, these were supposed to be kumquats, but they haven't flowered or fruited in the last couple of years since they froze and came back. But they've they've grown beautifully. So if I can get some more uh, kumquat scions, I may just uh, go ahead and cut these back and graft directly onto them. <clears throat> Here's one of my cherimoya seedlings from this past year. It's doing beautifully. And... Uh, my ice cream bean, Inga edgeless, is doing really good. Some more trifoliate stock here. This is a orange from seed that I got from a friend. And some uh, Carolina Reaper seven pot dougla hot peppers. And I've got some um, seedlings here of uh, flamboyant plant right there Ponciana and uh, the uh, pride of Barbados here so once we get this greenhouse finished up I, I'm gonna really have fun in here just wanted to kind of give an update show you all a few things <clears throat> and uh <laughs> Volunteer seedlings of the bird's eye pepper popping up everywhere. There's some in this pot of uh, supposed to be avocados, and I've got some other plants. I noticed the uh, babies coming up in, so them, them things come up quite easily, quite prolific. So uh, now that's not doing real well. Had some problems this year. This was a very beautiful, very large. Uh, I think it's probably close to five-year-old avocado tree. 
Uh, this past winter, it was attacked by squirrels and rats in, in the previous indoor situation. I had it in, and then when I brought it outside, it, it, it come back. It was all naked, and then it got sun scalded. That was my fault. But it's still alive, still trying to go, so uh, this coming year, I'll probably try to graft something else onto it. It is a half seedling, and it has been up to uh, close to 11, 12 foot at one point before we had to trim it down to get it inside. So it was a very beautiful tree and will be again. So just wanted to show y'all some of the things we have going on. And uh, this is kind of a long shotgun video, but... <clears throat> haven't posted in a little while I'll be digging up my peppers potting them and taking them in and so here we have my look at them habaneros doing wonderful they're supposed to be habaneros they kind of <laughs> kind of look different I'm thinking I might not have got a habanero when I got this plant but that's what it's labeled as but a uh, very prolific plant. I'll be trimming it way back, potting it, and taking it in for the winter. This is a, uh, see if I can say this right, Marisol, a uh, plant I got from a Hispanic friend of mine. Is brought The seed's brought from Mexico. And uh, first time growing it. Very nice plant, kind of a, almost to me, a substitute for, a, say, cayenne or something. Kind of has that same thin type wall, a little bit different flavor. And uh, grew them from seedling this year. Cayennes are doing good. So these will all be dug up. Bird's eye pepper over here. The mother plant's not looking real great, but she'll come back when I get her in. She's loaded. And the uh, yellow ghost pepper plant is also looking a little haggard after a full year of getting it. And she's still got peppers all over her. And uh, that plant is uh, at least three years old. There's actually two plants in there. It's at least three years old. I take it in every year. And I have some rooted cuttings of some more in here. And yes, I do. It's easier for me to root cuttings of peppers than to grow them from seed. And you can make sure you don't have any cross-pollination by doing that. I have around here... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's we'll start the flower. I started this this year. This is a red ghost. And... Uh, I'll be taking it in, trimming it back, taking it in. I should get peppers off of that this coming year. So anyways, that was a long-winded post. This is looking from the back of my greenhouse. Have a garden, a uh, three-foot wide raised bed garden all the way across this back end, which is the south end of my greenhouse. And all the way up that 40-foot east side of my greenhouse. Hope you all enjoy.